it's been a funny old day today. Um, I will give all of you an example of what our life is like here at Easy Horse Care Rescue Centre. Last night we had um, a colic with Gracie that's over there now in a stable. We were actually out with Dorothea till about eight o'clock last night, tubing her, which basically means a pipe goes in her nose all the way down and into the stomach. And then I think we had about nine buckets of warm water was flushed through and then it siphons everything out in the stomach. And then after that, some mineral oil was put in to try and work everything through. Uh, she's still not quite right, so she's in, and obviously we will continue monitoring uh, how she's doing. I'm just hoping that it doesn't end up that she needs to go to the hospital. Then, of course, first thing this morning, we have Captain. Now, Captain is a very old horse. Captain's about 40. This horse, over the years, has nearly died, I don't know how many times. And, and at the moment, he's going through another one of his um, bad patches. Um, again, his liver is deteriorating. This isn't the first time. It actually rebuilt itself last time with medication and everything. So we're hoping this will happen this time. But also, he has huge, huge melanomas on his rear end. Good boy, Cat, till you show them. But also, internally, these melanomas are growing and putting pressure on his pelvis, which is basically um, giving him a few problems. So at the moment, he's having chemotherapy to try to control the growth rate of his melanomas, which are not cancerous, but they just grow, but they are not cancerous. He's also having antibiotics injected because at the moment he has an infection there. And we're now also treating him um, with things to help his liver regenerate itself again. So this has also been going on today with Captain here. I'll just make sure if I don't have bottom bowl he can open up the top one and takes his take himself out because captain doesn't have many teeth left and he's not allowed to have forage but the minute he can let himself out he'll go and have some which is the worst thing he could possibly do but <laughs> he's still with me and believe you me he can still be naughty when he wants We have our little Annie here with her boyfriend Fudge. He's always by her side. You're very, very faithful, aren't you, Fudgy? Yes. Now, Annie, as many of you know, has got many, many problems, and obviously, we are getting towards the end of what we can actually do to help her. We've kept her going for a lot longer than we thought we would be able to. She still has quality of life but also she now is having to have various treatments to help strengthen up the bones inside and obviously to treat the infections that she has because of the severe laminitis where her pedal bones have dropped down and are actually breaking off and creating infections. So also we had that today. Why are you lying down Jasmine? Jasmine. Um, we've put her and her mum out today because the field has dried up. Uh, she's in a relatively small area also because she has lots and lots of problems. Um, we have to get her up every morning because she can't get herself up. This is neurological. Her mother also has neurological problems but also her growth plates at the moment she's having a growth spurt and they're slightly inflamed so they're a little bit painful for her also when she attempts to get up. Uh, since we've had her uh, and her mum um, she's had many ongoing complications. Um, 
she had a, a, a reaction to her mother's milk that created serious diarrhea. Um, so we had to wean her from her mother's milk. However, she also had a massive worm count. Basically, she was full of worms, really, really full of worms. And upon doing ultrasound, her intestines were also inflamed because of it. So to cut a long story short, ever since we've had her, she's been going through different types of treatment to tackle each problem as it's come along. So today um, was the first day that we could actually get them back out of the stable because when it's wet and really raining and really wet, we have to bring them in because if it's slippery, she will not be able to get up. But being a young horse, as you can imagine, now feeling full of life, she's quite a handful also to handle in a stable. So we brought her and her mother back out here again today. But obviously it looks like Rod will have to get her up in a minute to, um, so she can have her feed. Oi! Oh, did you get her? Yes. So that's just another thing that happens here on a daily basis. And here we have Chulo. This is actually, today was the day we were able to put him out again. He actually had major surgery last year. Whew, two months ago, three months ago, I don't know, I've lost track. for 20 minutes which we've had to do plus turned out for a little while in a small paddock and brought in so finally today also we um, had the pleasure of getting him back out and introducing him back into his group now it's all calm now um, which is very very good and it looks like the girls are starting to um, warm up to him being back with them Let's just say they weren't very impressed when he turned up in the field. So there was me and Rod trying to hang on to him and get his head collar off while the girls were sort of trying to chase him round. So that was also very interesting this morning. So this is just a little bit of what happens here at the rescue centre. Apart from obviously feeding all of our equines, horses, ponies and donkeys, and basically doing everything else that a rescue centre has to do throughout the day. So I just thought I'd share with you a little bit of what it's really like here <laughs> at Easy Horse Care Rescue Centre.